What's up everyone, Kita Sean here. So, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, so I apologize if I'm coughing everywhere. But, I wanted to do this video, I wanted to do this reaction video because as a huge Gundam fan, this is just amazing. And I want to start doing Gundam videos, I want to start doing some other types of videos other than video games like anime reactions or etc you we'll, we'll, we'll see what, I, what i'll do in the future but this year i wanted to do some different types of videos and this is one of them reacting to trailers and of course gundam is just something that i really love as you guys know i have neo zeong over there i have uh, a lot of gunpla and gundam merchandise over here which i don't think i showed you guys but maybe next time i'll show you guys and you guys know this from my live streams all i do is talk about gundam like literally that's all i talk about and uh, yeah, I'm just a huge Gundam fan. So this new upcoming uh, Gundam anime is just very exciting for me. But the trailer that we're going to react to is going to be for the spinoff for Iron-Blooded Orphans. So the official title for this upcoming anime is Kido Senshi Gundam Tekkits and Orphans Urusu Hanto in English, Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Roar Hunt, I think that's how you pronounce that word. So yeah, this is a spinoff to Iron-Blooded Orphans. And uh, it's set in the same year as the original anime, which really surprised me. I really thought that this was going to be a prequel to Iron-Blooded Orphans because of the design of the Gundam that they showed. Like, I thought that was Barbados before, you know, Iron-Blooded Orphans, like during the war. So, uh, kind of disappointed on that. But at the same time, still very excited because it's Iron-Blooded Orphans. The original anime was amazing. A lot of people um, didn't like it because of, of children. But... Uh, I thought it was just amazing, it felt realistic, and yeah, it's just one of the best Gundam series in my opinion, but this upcoming new anime, it's a spin-off, and uh, I'm just very excited. But this trailer, I have not watched it yet, I have to thank the person that sent me the link to this trailer in the Discord channel, thank you, you know who you are. But uh, after watching the trailer, we'll go ahead and look at the characters a little bit, the story of the uh, upcoming anime and uh, the design of the new Gundam as well. So let's go ahead and react to the trailer. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> All right, the uh, Sunrise Gundam logo, of course. We have Haro there. Let's see. Kido Senshi Gundam tickets no spin-off. So they have to throw that in there to, you know, confirm it that it is a spin-off. What is that ring? Is that like the device to activate the new Gundam? Urusa Hanto. So that's the official title. That looks like the key to the Gundam here. I actually don't know the, the name of the Gundam yet. So again, we'll react to that later. So those are some new uh, mobile suits. Oh, who is this? So we know this is the main character. Probably his... Probably some kind of like uh, relative or something like that. Who are you? What the? Is he going to be like the Char for this Gundam series? Maybe? Ooh. Look at that tech. So much better than uh, than Barbados. <laughs> so this is so is this like. It seems like a Gundam that's been restored because in Orphans, obviously, um, they found uh, Barbados. So, this Gundam feels like it's, it's either been restored or it's like a brand new Gundam that they just made. Ooh. Oh, the claw! Uh, so yeah, it looks just like Barbados, but obviously, um, different color, uh, more not bulky, but like a little bit rounder. Wow. So there were a lot of exciting things in this trailer that got me really excited for this upcoming anime. But what really caught my eye was this scene right here, uh, the cockpit of the new Gundam. Because as you guys know, in Iron Blooded Orphans, Barbados, and the other suits that Tekkadan use. Uh, they weren't the best looking. I mean, that's because they had to, you know, use what they had on hand. Like, they don't have the best advanced uh, technology with them. So, they did the best they can to restore the cockpits of these Gundams and these mobile suits. And um, Barbados, for example, again, um, they had to do the best they can to restore the cockpit. And they use the, uh, the Alaya system, which basically is the system that plugs into Mikazuki when, um, they, when he pilots Barbados. Basically gives them more awareness and stuff like that. 
So it looks like they got rid of that. This definitely looks like a gutted horn type cockpit in a way. So yeah, it looks really advanced. Actually, not. I don't think it really looks like a gutted horn cockpit. I gotta look back, but um, definitely a lot more comfortable looking. A lot more, you know, tech going. Like the camera view is, looks all awesome. It, it just looks clean. So um, that's why uh, it kind of concerns me a little bit. Is this really a Gundam from 300 years ago? Is this part of the 72? Is like, is this one of the 72 Gundams from the Kalamini War, or is it a totally brand new Gundam? It has to be one of them. But uh, my bet is that it's a brand new Gundam, or I don't know. Like I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a totally brand new Gundam that they made for this era. But it could be one of the 72 Gundams that you know that fought in the war. Who knows? But really excited to see the backstory about this Gundam. Like I actually have the description of the Gundam right now, the name and everything. I have not looked at it yet, so uh, I'm gonna look at it like in a bit. But really excited to see the backstory on this a new Gundam for this new anime. So now we have the screenshot of the Gundam that we saw in the trailer. Obviously this is going to be the main protagonist's Gundam, so the main Gundam of the series. And the Gundam's name is very interesting. So Gundam Hajiroboshi, that is a very interesting name for a Gundam. Doesn't sound like a Gundam name at all. But, uh, but it does sound like a name that you would hear in Gundam though. But yeah, it's a very interesting name and uh, it has some similarities to Gundam Barbados. Uh, a purplish color, a light purplish color scheme. A uh, splash of red and yellow. Obviously, the horn is different from Barbados, so three horns instead of two. And uh, because of the similarities of Barbados, it seems like it's going to be like the a sibling to Barbados. Like, uh, they made this during the same time as Barbados in a way, you know. So it, that does give me the feel that okay, it might be part of the seventy-two Gundams, but at the same time, still feels a little bit new. But what also kind of uh, catches my eye is the rib cage area. It feels like it's unfinished. Because um, it looks like this is from the first episode. It looks like a screenshot from the first episode. But it does look like it's unfinished. Um, obviously the weapon in its right hand has like a club looking weapon. Like a rock sword looking weapon. Obviously beam weapons. You know they don't exist in Gundam Barbados. Or more like they're extinct. And uh, it has a claw weapon as well. So that was pretty interesting. But uh, yeah I'm really excited to see this Gundam in action. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of the color scheme of the Gundam, but uh, the design looks amazing though. So I'm very excited to see this Gundam in action. Okay, so we are here at Anime News Network. They have everything translated. I'll leave a link down below for the trailer and this uh, this website here so that you guys can check it out yourselves. But we have the main character here was started off on a boy born and raised in the uh, Redonista colony floating above Venus. His parents died early in his childhood and he inherited the vestiges of the colony management company off on equipment. Okay, so he has his own company. He is cheerful with a strong resolution and big dreams of turning Venus into a tourism destination. So why is he piloting a Gundam then? <laughs> but uh, well anyways, um, we know he owns his own company. Uh, looking at his design, he's wearing gloves so I'm assuming that he's good with his hands. He likes to build stuff. Uh, his uh, shoes, his sandals, um, that's very dangerous if you are an engineer. If you're building stuff, definitely got to wear some shoes there. But uh, okay, so main character owns his own company and I want to know why he pilots uh, the Gundam. But scrolling down a little bit, so Demuna Kitako Jr., a man who served as a teacher and caretaker since Restaro's birth. Okay, so he is basically um, like a, a butler, I guess. He looks strict and severe at first glance, but ultimately has a strong tendency to pamper with Stario. Uh, for many years, he has been secretly maintaining the Gundam Hashiro Boshi. So, alright, so some key uh, words here. So maintaining obviously is one of them, meaning that um, I think it's safe to say that uh, Hashiro, uh, Hajiro Boshi is one of the 72 Gundams because it's not like he was building the Gundam, he was maintaining it. So. Uh, I'm assuming that Hajiroboshi is definitely one of the 72 Gundams from the, the Calamity War. Now, um, the question is, was he doing it uh, behind uh, Wistario's back because he, he's been secretly maintaining it. So I'm not exactly sure if uh, Wistario knows about it, but who knows? We'll have to wait and watch the an for the anime. But scrolling down a little bit more, so she looks like the heroine of this this anime. Korunaru Kosa, a mysterious girl who appeared before with Stario claiming to be the guide to the Uro hunt. In addition to her proper and polite manner, she speaks with a calm tone that belies her apparent age as she rarely changes her expression. Uh, it is hard to get a read on her. She likes brewing tea. Okay. 
Um, okay, interesting. Uh, definitely an interesting design for a heroine for Gundam. Um, not the, my favorite, but uh, all right. Definitely interesting. Gotta know what it means to be uh, the guide, claiming to be the guide to the Uro Hunt. And um, definitely want to know more about her. And then we have, of course, Gundam Hajiro Boshi. This is this looks like the uh, full design, the final design for Hajiro Boshi here. Uh, looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it looks like um, his left arm has a uh, has a shield there, and it turns into a claw, kind of like Sandrock from Gundam Wing. Um, has it looks like he has two different designs on his feet there. I wonder why. Um, it kind of looks like a claw on the right one. The left one kind of looks normal, but it has some kind of thing on the side there. Not exactly sure what that is, but okay. Looks interesting. So, uh, Gundam Hajiro Boshi is a mobile suit hidden deep in Radonista Colony's power section. Demina inherited the duties of managing this unit from the from his late grandfather. Okay, so it's not a new Gundam. Definitely one of the 72 Gundams for sure. And, ha and he secretly kept maintaining it. When the colony is attacked by unknown mobile suits, Wistario pilots his Gundam and awakens it from a long slumber. Okay. Interesting. Alright. So definitely it is confirmed that this is one of the 72 Gundams from the Kalamini War. So, alright. But uh, I'm really excited for this Gundam series. Like, I, I cannot wait. And uh, I definitely want to know more about these characters as well. So we have the key visual here. It looks amazing. Look at the details on Hajiro Boshi there. Oh my god. But we have the colony in the back. Then we have uh, the planet, which is I'm assuming is Venus. And then we have this ring again from the trailer. I'm assuming that this is the device to activate Hajiro Boshi, but I might be wrong. But uh, it's definitely going to play a big part in the anime, I'm assuming. I don't think you really need to watch the original Orphans in order to watch this, but I'm pretty sure they're going to throw out some name references from the original, so probably want to watch the original Orphans before watching this when it comes out. But uh, go watch it, it's an amazing anime by the way. Uh, you don't have to watch the other Gundam series because uh, Orphans is its own story. But uh, really, really excited for this anime, I cannot wait. And I uh, hope you guys are excited like I am. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. What do you guys think about the new design or the new Gundam, uh, Hajiro Boshi? Comment down below and tell me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.